So folks, the most important element of drumming is timing. Now, I'm, I'm not talking like the metronome click track sense of timing. The timing I'm talking about is when you as a person sit down on a drum set with a couple people and play and your ability to hold them down, make sure they're taken care of, but at the same time, providing you know comfort for the listener. There's a couple things that I do. I do a lot of counting on the floor in between the notes I'm hitting. Like uh, five minutes alone, here's a great example. not exactly necessary but I feel like I have a lot better control over the situation when I'm I'm holding down the shit in the middle I mean it's the way the flow works and I feel like a freaking I feel like I'm biohazard now I feel like I'm biohazard Ugh. knowing what's in between is everything uh, another another thing I like to do is grind my teeth right this is kind of unconventional but when I'm not playing drums, when I'm working shit out in my head, kind of like freaking grinding my teeth uh, side, side to side. You kind of pick up a lot of rhythms, a lot of patterns, uh, a lot of different ways you can alternate. Uh, and, and you can also fill in time in between. Uh, another good example of like this hidden note kind of shit. You'll hear uh, Mike Portnoy do a lot of shit like that. Well, probably the biggest thing I use just to keep the way my shit feels the way it feels is ghost notes. I don't do them all the time, but I catch myself doing it even on like Metallica songs, which don't have much ghost notes. When I, when I don't do them, things feel kind of stiff. I might rush the bass drum. Uh, this is kind of, this is almost like a, a little setup for my body to stay in conjunction with each other. Here's a good example. Um, like the verse in Toxicity from System of a Down. another good reason why it's good to pick up on ghost notes notice how you're getting those little light double stroke things you learn how to cut out you learn how to do shit like that elsewhere right like even on the like the heavy part toxicity in the middle Now, think about the end. Where's the dun da 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 What I do is this. That kind of ties it together. In that situation, I'm not using ghost notes. I'm holding it down by getting a feel of the middle of the shit I'm doing. That was a convenient. Uh, choice of song to uh, whatever you call it. Boy, I'm not good at this talking shit, I tell you. Like that heavy part in the middle for toxicity. I'm doing this. Because I use these kind of things and I understand how these little things are affecting the feel, well, because I can physically do them, I do them naturally now, I can do this kind of shit.
It's an example of understanding where the ghost notes are going and using them full impact in other circumstances. Those two and grinding your teeth, I think, are huge. Um, uh, it's kind of ironic I don't mention the metronome or click track. A lot, of, a lot of my favorite drummers aren't machines, they're people. And I like how they, they're kind of organically holding the band together. Um, there's a lot more character to it. And, you know, to make, make an analogy, it's kind of pretentious, but I mean, think of like uh, an artist making a painting. I know, it sounds so fucking pretentious. Would it mean more if they had just started from scratch and built it? And what you see there is their natural expression, what they came up with. Or how would it feel if they had a template to choose from that they got the color in and uh, it just made the asshole in Photoshop a lot more happier to fix it up now because it has, it applied, it, you know, it used the template. It's two different schools of thought, kind of like the click track metronome. Um, it makes post-production a lot easier for the asshole uh, engineer and, you know, the guy doing the audio. Does it really have to compromise everything the drummer is used for? You know what I mean? I, I get it that there's a lot of advantages to using a click track in a studio setting, but uh, most time in live circumstances, it's you. It's not the click track. I like that feel a lot more than, you know, being tied down to a mechanical construct, uh, you know, to make it easier for some asshole down the road to play with. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, I get it. Like a lot of times, like for shit I make, if I don't use a click track, um, I can't just take my guitar tracks and throw it over the other one because it's unique. It isn't in the same, just small little things that vary. And in the end, it won't really end up, you know, right where it's supposed to be because I'm not using a mechanical construct to fit into. Uh, so, you know, I get it. There's disadvantages of not using a metronome, but it's the drummer's duty to learn that on his own and develop little tricks to help, you know, um, facilitate that. But yeah, how many times have you been at a concert and, uh, you know, just watch, watch the crowd, listen to a band, everyone's head's moving, and then there's a, there's a fucking... Oh, here comes the next part. Oh, shit, here it comes. And, yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh. oh and, and then they, the fucking drummer whiffs it. And you, you watch the audience, and they're like, okay. And they got to feel, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're doing this now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that sucked. You kind of like, you know, the orgasm was coming. And, uh, you know, you, you cut it off early. So now it's kind of like. Oh, well, that's kind of frustrating. And, uh, you know, you start going at it again. Oh, all right. Fucking jam it out. All right. Yep. And then fucking, oh. oh. Hmm, what would? Okay. All right. Now, I guess now we're doing this. Okay. I mean, because the fucking drummer can't keep his shit together. The fucking drummer needs to be responsible to fucking make sure the people in the audience... You know, the, the the audience can count on this guy to keep shit together, as well as the band. It's so fucking frustrating to watch the band like, dude, the fucking part was coming in, you fucking, you stupid bastard. The drummer has that one responsibility. He's providing that trench for the fucking audience and for the band and himself. And, you know, all the fancy tricks in the world don't mean jack shit if you don't have decent timing, right? Uh, ACDC, great example. Uh, you listen to anything on the Black Album. I mean, it's not about tricks. It's about making that music, uh, you know, sway. Make it work. You're gluing it all together, right? Uh, so, I guess that's about it. 
Hope I made some sense. And uh, yeah, talk to you later, folks.